Okay, so the book that I read was A Hole in My Life by Jack Gantos. And this book is an autobiography about Jack's life and what led up to him going to prison. And so, basically, he got in prison for smuggling marijuana from St. Croix to New York City. And he was born in Pennsylvania, but he was forced to move a lot. So when he lived in Florida, he had to move to Puerto Rico. But when he went to Puerto Rico, he couldn't go to school there because he didn't speak their language. And so he had to work for his dad to make money to go back to Florida so he could get um, an education and pursue his writing career. <coughs> and so the theme in this book is recovering from mistakes and dealing with adversity. And also, I think decision making is a big part because um, he made the decision to like work with drugs and like smuggle stuff to get money instead of like making a better decision because obviously like working with drugs would put him in a really bad situation. And what I thought the author's purpose was, was to show people that instead of dealing with mistakes when they're made, take a different path in the first place. So like for Jack, like instead of choosing to do the drug deal thing, like he should have just chose something else in the first place instead of like having to deal with going to jail. And, um, but also that like you can recover from grief mistakes, like not, you can never like mess up so bad that you can't recover basically because like when Jack was in jail he could, he still got out and became a writer um and I think that the mood is hope sort of because like obviously he was teaching a lesson but like in the end he still became a writer so um so the main character in the book is Jack Gantos and he also wrote this book so it's an autobiography about himself and he's really smart and outgoing, but he fails to think about the actions that he takes. And he has, like, good intentions. Like, it was all to go to school and, like, to become a writer. But he just made the bad decisions to get to that point, which was obviously drug dealing. Okay, and the strengths in this book. I think that the strengths was the style of the book because it was an autobiography, so it was, like, really easy to re relate to because it was so realistic and um it was easy to follow along and very intriguing the whole time the weaknesses of the book I think the weaknesses um was the plot probably because it was a really short book and it definitely could have been longer and it could have gone like more in depth because it was a lot of information in like a short period or period of pages I guess you could say and so I feel like it would have been better if he made it longer because it was actually really interesting. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, what I learned from another culture. So I learned that in Puerto Rico, like, if you don't know their language, they just won't teach you. Like, you have to speak their language. They can't teach you it like we do here. Um, and then I also learned that money can influence you to make bad decisions basically from what Jack did um who would I recommend this to I'd recommend it to like an older crowd of people because it has a lot to do with like drugs and alcohol and stuff so it probably wouldn't be that good for younger people but I think that's what made it really intriguing and interesting and definitely a good book so yep that's my book talk